Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now you see who we're going to be talking about, yes. And he is so less of a man. I don't know why he giving me a download tease. I'm just saying. He kind of giving me a download tease. Especially when he wants to go off on women. The way that he did. Just me. Just me. Just my opinion. Don't come for me in the comment section. Because usually I am pretty much on point. Okay. You can spot him like. I don't know. Spot him like you can just. Catch a football when you're out there playing touch football. You know what I'm saying? And you already see where the ball probably might be going, and you just jump and grab it. Or when you're playing kickball, you know where you want to kick it to the weakest link. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but child, 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 honey, Sanya, Sanya, whatever her name is these days, you signed up for the wrong team, girl. You went for Marlo and Sheree, and that is not the play, okay? That is not the play you wanted to have, have made. And then your husband getting a little confessional time. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's all I can say, Lord have mercy. I don't, I don't care for men that wants to get up all up in women's business. And I'm kind of surprised Todd and he didn't say nothing like, man, don't talk to that woman like that. Because I thought he was saying it to Kenya. But it seems like he was putting it towards Kenya and Sheree. And I'm like, if you don't like how the women get down, just like you excuse yourself from uh, Sunday's episode. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, what kind of work you got? What, what kind of work you doing? What kind of work are you doing? You, you got your limo service in Jamaica 200. Let us just know, cause I'm like you. To me, you didn't have to go no damn well, okay? Your papa just took your ass up stairs and took a shower and went to bed, okay? And possibly called your man on the side, but that's allegedly. That is allegedly. No, I don't like Aaron. Maybe he could redeem himself next season. I don't know, cause I just don't like no man. I don't care if a woman is just going through with the mud and hitting below the belt and the ankles, okay? Don't get in women's mess. Because while y'all trying to get in women's mess, you sure wouldn't want your wife, when somebody, a man riding you hard and ready to fight you, your wife try to step in, you know you're going to cuss your wife out and tell her this is man business. Because y'all like to say that. Y'all love saying that. This man business. They ain't got nothing to do with no woman. Let's see your way out. Let's see, can you put that on her Instagram account? All right? Or was it Facebook? Hell, I don't know. Well, it might have been Twitter shit. Which one? I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> but it's probably Twitter. I think it's Twitter. She over there tweeting your ass out. See, she, oh, she pulverized you on the show when you were taping. Now she's on her <laughs> Twitter account weighing your ass out, Sonya. And I do remember after this taping held resolve itself and not to hit tape what they needed to show us for season 14 i do remember candy being out in orlando florida it might have been uh california i want to say it was orlando florida but i'm not really sure they went to uh disneyland or um or orlando uh for a vacation with the kids and i didn't see ross but i did see sonya with her uh well, her little boy, and it might have been somebody else. Maybe she took her nephew uh, as well, but I'm not sure. But Candy said she cleared it up on Speak On It, this last Speak On It she had did uh, this week. She did say that uh, she asked all the ladies to come to uh, Disneyland or Disney World. I think it was Disney World. Uh, to come on out with her and Todd and their family. Just come on and, you know... Uh, you know, let's chill a little bit. But no, everybody declined itself for Sanya. So, um, I'm like, you ain't... 
Oh, I'm just like, you, you just on the wrong team, baby. You're on the wrong team. And when you go against Kenya, she don't forget shit like that. She will pick at you until the sun come up. And then the sun go back down. She will still be wearing your ass out. Okay? Because she was kind of impersonating you when she was on that little boat. And they were just, I don't know, going in a circle or whatnot. Taking in some suns and some sights. I don't know what they were doing on that boat. But anyway, they had a very good time. They laughed, they danced, they drank, and it was all a good time. But Kenya, now she's saying on her Twitter account, she don't trust you, uh, Sanya. She don't trust you because the sad part about it, Ross reminds me so much of Kenya's soon-to-be ex, I guess, because we can't seem to get rid of him either. Ooh, we can't seem to get rid of Mark without him saying he wants money from Kenya. Okay, more money than what she probably already done gave him. And it is sadly reminding me, Ross is reminding me how Mark used to treat Kenya. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like you speak when I tell you to speak. Other than that, keep your mouth closed. And I kind of see the dominating spirit he has on you with just l looking at um, this season with him uh, pretty much mandating or ordering you that you need to have another baby for him. He wants a girl like, okay, what What if she has another boy, Ross? You want to knock her up or tell her, you, you know, you're going to be knocked up again because I want my girl. Man, you too much. You, you too much. And I, I liked it you, Ross. I liked it you. Because I'm like, okay, he's setting his tone. He's observing more than talking. I like that. And um, he seemed like he was a well thought out man. But honey, baby, I don't know if Candy was right when she was saying he was half mad at Kenya. And he was half mad at the producers. I'm like, now you, you ain't dumb. You ain't no dumbass. You were a dumbass when you were acting out on last uh, week's episode. Okay, coming for two women. Man, you should left like you got up from the table uh this past Sunday and talking about you had to get up early in the morning to go to work or whatever. I'm like, you ain't in Atlanta. Do you have limousine services in uh, Jamaica, baby? Because the only person that I saw doing stuff with the camera men and, and women was uh your wife. She was doing her iFit training. So where the hell you were, Ralph? Boy, I mean, not Ralph. Um, what her name? Tell him got a damn name. Aaron. Where were you? Because I didn't see you around taping. I saw the cameraman focusing so much on Sanya. I mean, is Sanya getting this all done? Is this becoming? No, nah, I ain't going to say it because I like Todd. <laughs> I was finna throw a curveball and put and put Todd up under the bus again. But I like Todd. He, he, he's he's, he's uh, softening me up. Especially when he said he don't sit in general mission. He going over there to the I VIP section. His own little carved out bungalow. All right. I liked that shit. That was that was real funny, Todd. <laughs> that was real funny. But now Aaron got this dominating dominion type of environment he has for his wife. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh uh, honey. No, sir. This these are the uh well, it ain't the feminist movement. But we don't got to where we can do what we can do. And if we happen to pay some of them bills, then you're going to have to lean on some understanding that you cannot be so responsible person that's making all of the uh, rules and regulations. Because if you want to put religion in it, uh, yes, women are supposed to be the man's helpmate, but the man is supposed to be the provider. And that means uh, Miss Sonya shouldn't be working. You know what I'm saying? You should be providing everything, lap for luxury for her. You're supposed to be working two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten jobs. Okay, we know you're not a Jamaican. No, you're not. But you fell in love with a Jamaican woman. But honey, baby, so I don't have no more luxury about that man. Because he ain't going to be there for you. He going to be out there doing what he think he need to do. Building his empire. In case something fell down. He like to build it back up. You know all that shit he was saying. You know convincing me to like him. Uh, the first uh, few episodes. And now he acting like a damn fool. At the end of the part. Showing us his real color. Yes honey. He done took playbook. Well, he done took some plays out of Mark Daly's playbook. That he used on Kenya. Okay, and we saw how Kenya was just belittled to nothing. A shell of her former self. She couldn't say nothing. 
to him. All right. It was just a mess. It's a mess. If y'all been watching it when um, Mark was on the show, y'all know what I'm talking about. He even said he liked the nene over his uh, wife. <laughs> Woo! He gave everybody credit except for Kenya. And that, that was kind of hard people to swallow because I was waiting for Kenya to come back and say something. But she never would. She never would. And then she started comparing his love for his daughter over his love for her. And I knew Kenya had went insane then. <laughs> but <clears throat> to this day, she still can't get that joker off her tracks. She's talking about he want the money. He want, he want the pool money. He want some of her half of her house. I'm like, mm-mm. If you wanted a pool and we did the pool, let me pay you back for that pool, okay? Or you can just come pick the shit up. Just carve it on out. Uh, I don't know how you're going to get it back to New York or whatever. But let it be what it's going to be, all right? But you ain't getting my damn house, okay? And see, that's something what Aaron would do. He's talking about he, he wouldn't want nothing if him and Sonya didn't make it when they were just having discussions between the men. He said she can have anything, by everything. Now, he'll be that first eager up in there saying what he want, what percentage he want, and she needs spousal support because she make more than him. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. But anyway, we have a story from Yahoo.com on the Real Housewives of Atlanta that aired all the little touchy, feely, bad moments as well as good moments that they showed us on this previous Sunday. But uh, let's get on into it. We have a Wanda Giddings and she wrote, she wrote my other article, too, didn't she? Anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about Miss Sonya. Yes, we are. Uh, it goes and says, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sonya, or Sonya, Richard Ross has been criticized by fans for a while. For the way he spoke to Kenya Moore. Okay, you know Teen Twirl coming out. Teen Twirl coming out like tornadoes on your ass. They probably want to shut down your Instagram or your Twitter or your YouTube page if you had one, Aaron. They're going to be like the Bayhive. The Beehive when you, you uh, say something about Beyonce and it ain't kosher. They will shut down your social media platform. That's, ooh, child, you don't want that. You don't want that kind of problem. Uh, Aaron, but you stuck your nose, you stuck your dig, you stuck your feet out there, okay? Trying to regulate a woman that's not even your woman, okay? Ooh, piss poor, piss poor of being a man, okay? And holding your temperament when it came to somebody else's woman, which Kenya's just single by herself, you know? It just is what it is, but she, she could get you together if she wanted to, but she kind of felt uh violated because no man stood up for kenya when you caught yourself talking about cussing at her and then drew hell with drew coming with the with the fire she was saying that ain't right we can't just have her make her opinion you can't make your i said damn drew too little too late you should have said that shit when he was standing up you should just cut interrupted him and say if you don't take if you don't sit your two dollar ass down and 50 cent before i make some change brother if you don't sit your ass down then you know that would have got around trying to defend his wife and then it would have been on a man and a man situation see what i'm saying but how they left it off it was very distasteful very distasteful but anyway we're gonna go into the article that was written it was okay yeah i gave y'all the uh, title but it goes in to say the real housewives of atlanta fans are upset at sonya richard ross husband for the way he spoke to kenya moore okay when the cast of went women when the cast went to jamaica they got more than just fun in the sun and beef patties there were heated arguments and a lot of confrontation among the ladies doing an exchange between sonya <coughs> And Kenya Moore, the Olympian champion's husband, Aaron Ross, interjected. But fans don't appreciate the manner in which he spoke to Kenya. Yeah, we did. We showed it, and we on that ass still. And we would probably make some more videos uh, about this shit because you know we we, we let Kenya go so far, and then we have to re re rein her back in, tap her hand, say uh 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 uh, you went a little bit too far. But you know it is what it is. Okay, they know you. But see, we didn't know Ross. Ross coming up here and cursing and shit. Now, you don't curse at no woman, nigga. You just don't do that. Okay? But anyway, because he was acting like a nigga. That's why I said nigga, because that's what he was acting like. Full grown, full fledged nigga. That's what he was acting like. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Ross 
curses at Kenya Moore. Moore expressed her disappointment with uh, Sanya when she felt the track star didn't check in with her and Sheree Whitfield when they missed an excursion. The former NFL star didn't like the drama. Well, he should have kept it with he should have kept it and gave it to his mama if he really wanted to. But his mama probably would have slapped the shit out of him and told him, you should not have said anything. You should not have said anything. And then the daddy should have got on his ass as well. But I don't even know if they even live. I don't know. Is Ross' parents living? Because they need to have a uh, understanding. They need to have a good look talk with him. Because I know mama didn't raise no food, but she didn't uh, raise no uh being a, a, a person that's being impolite to women okay but anyway going back to the article it says i don't rock like that don't fuck with my wife he told more well she can fuck with her all day because guess what they both women they can be catted all day they can be running their mouth from sun up to sun down and you should have stayed your ass out of it you should excuse yourself say men do y'all want to uh come on and do what we got to do because we got to go i don't want to hear this chitter chatter with these women that's what a real man would have did excuse himself and say told his wife to handle that shit <laughs> okay that's what he should have did but he got some female tendencies he might be a little zesty allegedly but going back because that's what it gave me because a real man they ain't finna get into nothing with no other woman uh against they woman they're gonna like well hey she got it she she can handle it now if a man jump in that's when he has the privilege to uh defend his wife but now nah, he went for kenya and sold to kenya i thought it was just more, i think he was i, I could have sworn he was talking to definitely kenya but i thought he was you know saying something to uh charade as well but i guess he knew charade and his wife kind of, you know, mixed and mingled um, a little bit on this particular episode. So he wasn't gone for her throat. He went for uh, to total uh, Kenya Moore's whole stature. Okay? And that was just piss poor. Piss poor. He has no respect. That's why I said he can't be giving behind them closed doors Sonya any type of respect. He's probably belittle her to the littlest uh, piece of her where she don't even uh feel like she's a woman or a married woman anymore because he just you know look like he just you know take everything from her strip her down strip her to the core and make her know you wouldn't be nothing without me you know that kind of man that does that kind of shit that narcissist type of um uh, mentality that's got raw from the head to the t uh, toes of his feet from the head of his uh head well from the top of his head to the sole of his feet he probably ain't nothing but uh mean nasty Anyway, moving on from um, spirited, I meant to say. Uh, but anyway, he told Kenya, don't, uh, I don't rock like that. Don't fuck with my wife, he said to Moore. She felt Ross was aggressive in his tone, which he was. We all felt that. When you said it to her, it's like you said it to me. And when I know I don't get like that. I don't get down like that. I'd be ready to pick a chill up and knock your... Uh, you know, knock you in the head somewhere or get some sand and throw it in your eyes and then bum rush you, okay? Kick you in the penis, kick you in the nuts, and then, you know, I'm like, hey, okay, I feel better now from what you said to me, but don't try me again, okay? But anyway, um, going back to the article, it said fans are upset with him for yelling. Fans says Aaron overstepped his boundaries. Aaron Ross sat down or Aaron, Aaron Ross sit down and stay out of women's fights. I hate when men get involved in women's argument. Your woman can handle herself. That's right. Uh, Miss Sammy wrote that on Twitter. That's right. That's right. If Sonya couldn't handle her, which we already know, she she wasn't educated enough. She didn't get her Webster Dictionary and her pen and paper and, and have some earphones to some good readers <laughs> that can be sending her messages or what to say back to Kenya. You know what I'm saying? Woo! But anyway, it just is what it is. She wasn't ready, and Ralph show sure wasn't ready, okay? He just walked the plank because ain't no way in hell I'd be supporting Ralph. I mean, not Ralph, but, uh uh ross anymore he just mm -mm, he got a bad taste in my mouth and he make my a my ass itch okay so i'm just too too fit to be tired with that joker but anyway um another person chimed in on twitter and said ross need ross needs to bag down no woman needs a man's help to have a disagreement with another woman no one got in Sonya's face or through anything and see that's what i'm talking about there was no uh no ill intent wasn't no plates flying wasn't no chills going up uh, beside somebody's head wasn't no gun being pulled out you know what i'm saying for him to do work the way he did on kenya oh 
it's an offense and can you see if you can um sue him for bad words okay get you some money like you did from poison okay i'm just saying i'm looking out for you girl then we have another twitter person says ross needs to back down no woman needs a man's help okay okay yeah that was the same one then we had another twitter user saying uh dear aaron ross in the enduring words of Lanethia Monique Leakes, stay out of women's business. Thank you and good night. <laughs> yeah, I do remember she was talking to Peter because, hey, she called Peter a uh, itch, okay? Now we're going to call you a bitch, okay? We ain't going to say itch, we're going to say bitch because that's the kind of way you were coming off. That's why I say, I think you kind of zesty, I think you're kind of fruity, you know, wearing that little toupee like that. Some gay men that wear their little two piece like that, their little toupee. Not too paid, but the, the little uh, goatee. That's what I'm trying to say, the goatee. Mm-hmm. Because we kind of thought about Kenya's husband, Ma, when he had that uh, nose ring in. We were like, mm, mm. Yep, we thought he was a little zesty, too. But like I said, when you get in women's business, that makes me think, well, you got a little bit more estrogen in your body than you need to have. On the testosterone should be flowing through your body all right but hey i don't know i don't know i think so you know more than what she's trying to say about her marriage and and, and her not wanting to uh be locked down again taking care of children this time while her so-called husband is running them streets making it rain or making you know more income revenue streams for them yeah honey son you bet you better you better follow your gut baby follow your gut and if your gut's telling you uh -uh, i don't want no more kids right now you better toe the line with that idea because ain't no sense you having one and then you'll yourself get depressed and you can't take care of the children or yourself child please and then he be ready to bounce you know what i'm saying don't got two kids him and then he gonna start treating you like shit if he ain't already treating you like shit okay maybe your mama knows something maybe that's why they living with you and don't want to let you go right now i don't know i don't know but i know i wouldn't have that that ego okay but anyway that's all i got for this particular article y'all y'all get down in them comments y'all let me know is rafa lizesty did he have a little bit too much estrogen in his meals or in his body? Because it was sure wasn't no testosterone flowing through there. He didn't get up. Todd didn't get up. Ralph didn't get up. It's like, why the hell you had to get up, Ralph? I mean, uh, damn, I keep calling Ralph. Ross, why did you have to give up, Ross? Hmm? Because you were having fun with saying when I was trying to hook her up with that little deadly, that little boy. Oh, you were laughing and every little thing. But then again, was you looking at him for yourself and not for Kenya? I'm just saying, I don't know. Okay, I'm, all this is allegedly over here. All of this is allegedly. But yes, baby girl, Miss Sandra, you done got with the wrong team. And now, from what Ken, uh, Kenya seemed like she doing, because she already tweeted your ass out on Twitter. You don't think she going to come for you? Girl, you better get with some real readers, Okay. Let them teach you some quick, fast, and hurry snapbacks because Kenya is going to wear your ass out. And she probably will come for Aaron as well. <laughs> Woo! Okay, but that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Like it, love it. Make sure you're sharing me out. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. And make sure you're liking my videos, okay? And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.